What's up, Survivalist? Optimum FN here, and thanks for hanging out with me today, and welcome back to Remnants. Back here with another quick guide for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Trader Joe. Now, if you guys have missed any of my previous guides, I'll link a playlist up in the top corner. Make sure to go and check them out. Real quick, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing for more daily content. If you are already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support on the channel. All right, so you guys are curious about the Trader Joe. Now, the Trader Joe does spawn in the desert. There are six locations currently in the game to where the Trader Joe does spawn. Now, in this video, we are going to go over all the locations where the Trader Joe spawns and see what types of items he is selling. All right, let's talk about the currency that you use to buy items from Trader Joe here. And that's going to be your metal frags, which you can smelt down in the furnace to get those. And then you're going to need gold ingots. Gold ingots you can find in boulders down in the desert to get nuggets. And then you can smelt those down in the furnace with a stone mold to get the ingots. All right, so once you have your currency and you found the trader down in the desert, you're going to hit E to interact with them. This opens up his buy and sell UI here. Now, as you can see, some of his items you can buy. Some of his items are out of stock. They do change on a daily basis. So you have to follow him, him around the desert here to find out what type of items he's selling on a daily basis. Now, some of these items are specific to the trader here. You cannot find these in the loot out in the world when looting, uh, like the chitin armor here. These are specific to the trader. Also, the wall switches and fuse boxes, you cannot find out in the world. You do have to buy them from the trader. Now, as you can see, a lot of his items are out of stock here. Some of these items you can use a research kit or a recycle kit on to learn how to craft them, like your metal plates and your tin sheets as well as your chitin armor here. You can use your research and recycle kits to learn how to craft those items. Now, there are some items that you can sell as well to get resources back, like the metal frags and the gold ingots. If you have extra in abundance, you can sell those items to the trader as well. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some of his other locations here in the desert. All right, so the traders moved over here to the old KLF diner over here. Let's see what type of inventory has changed today. All right, so he's selling a couple items here. Let's see, I put a chitin shirt here. So if we were to sell this item, select that item and hit trade. We lost a shirt, but we gained 30 gold ingots. And once it says trade complete, that means it's completed. Now, if we were to select this helmet, we cannot trade this helmet, even though we have one in our inventory because the trade is complete. So if it says trade complete, that means you cannot sell this item here. So we wanted to sell some tuna, a wind generator, bandage, and uh, some of these other items. We could sell these items and then the trade would be complete. So keep that in mind. If it's green, you cannot trade as where on buy. If it's out of stock, you cannot buy. All right, so on the buy tab here, you can see he is out of stock on a lot of items. So we are not able to buy any of these items that say out of stock, which is unfortunate. It is all RNG based, so it just depends on the day and what he is selling so keep bouncing around the desert here and eventually he will have some items here that are in stock that you can buy that you cannot find out in the world all right so we are over here at the other klf diner slash gas station here where the old jukebox is at and you can see the trader has moved here now if we were to interact with him we can sell he see he is selling different items than he was the previous day here uh, so keep that in mind. His inventory is going to change on a daily basis. Now, he is out of stock on a lot of items. However, if we did want to buy these gloves, we select this item and we hit trade. And now we have that item. We could take a research or a recycle kit and learn how to craft that item. Now, if we wanted to sell some items, he's only selling a couple items here. He is out of stock or trade complete on this one here, so we cannot trade that. But if we did have some boots here, we would be able to sell him some boots. All right, so we're at a new location here in Sunset. Now he is going to be selling new items here and items that we can buy here. As you can see, his inventory's changed. We're able to buy a surveillance camera here. So if we were to select that, we could hit trade. Now we have that item. Again, keep in mind, if it is out of stock, you are not going to be able to buy this item. So if we wanted to buy this wall switch, 
we could buy that item. Now, once you buy items, again, there are certain items that you can research. You can take a research kit, recycle kit. I already know this blueprint, so if I were to do this on the surveillance camera, it is not researchable. So some items are not researchable, some items are researchable, so keep that in mind. Now, if we look at his sell items, he's selling some stuff here, but they are green, so we cannot sell these items. Again, out of stock, so we cannot buy these items. So keep that in mind. If it is red, that means you cannot buy. If it's green, you cannot sell. All right, so we are here at the second sunset location here where the trader can spawn here. As you can see, his inventory has changed from buying and he has a lot more things to sell today than he did the day before. So keep that in mind, his inventory does change on a daily basis. It is all RNG here. All right, so let's talk about the different locations where Trader Joe spawns at. Now there are six different locations down in the desert where you can find him. Now he can spawn at the rail station, Sunset Town one and two, KLF Diner 1 and 2, and Ghost Town. Now again, these are currently the locations where the trader can spawn. They may change in the future. All right, guys, before we wrap up this quick guide on Trader Joe, I did want to let you guys know about a glitch on your local hosted servers here. Now, I have noticed when I was filming this episode that you can pretty much get the trader to spawn wherever you want him to. Now, between the six locations, he can spawn. However, if you were to sit here, log out of your game, and log back in, he does have a chance to spawn where you are currently standing at one of the six locations. So if I were to log off here and log back on, he will disappear and spawn somewhere else. Now, if I were at one of the other locations and I was standing there, if you continue to log off and log back on, eventually he will spawn at the location where you are currently located. So this is, again is a glitch on locally hosted servers. You cannot do this on public or community servers. So if you guys are having trouble finding the trader, don't feel like running around the desert to try and find him. Stand at one of the six locations, log off, log back on until he spawns at your location. That's going to wrap up this quick guide for you. I hope you guys found this guide informative on Trader Joe. If you guys do have any comments or questions, feel free to comment down below. Also, the links to my socials are down in the description. Stay up to date with everything that I'm doing. But as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos. And I thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Until next time, take it easy.